What's up, people? Um, welcome back. I am continuing my expedition of upgrading the house. Um, as you guys see, my purple light's glowing. And then I still got my chandelier up. And going off that chandelier, I am also going to upgrade now this small bathroom down here. Well, I guess I might as well come in. This is the bathroom down here. It's pretty straightforward. The um, only thing I did was I installed crown molding up top so far. Um, obviously, I painted it here. And I have this happening. I'm changing out that vanity light to this guy right here. I'll drop the links on Amazon if you guys want to look at it. It's actually fairly, it was only fairly cheap. It was only like 40 bucks. Um, but I, I like the crystals. And some of these are scratched, but it does come with extra ones in the pack. There's two, there's two lights in here. So we'll see how well this all works out. And then I also bought this guy which is one of those mirrors that have like the LED light around it. Um, I actually bought two, well, two different ones. This one's gonna go down here. It's gonna be a little smaller than the mirror that's in there already. Um, I actually bought this about a month ago. Then I realized I should do the mirror too. I wanna do a light mirror because I have to actually run the wire that goes from this down behind the mirror to install it. This is another mirror, which is going in our master bathroom because our master bathroom has double vanity and it's nice and wide. This mirror is obviously too short, but I hate that big wide mirror because it looks like a gym mirror and I would prefer two separate mirrors, but I couldn't pick which one I wanted. This one's a little different because this one only has like, this doesn't have a frame around it. That one has like a, this one has like a black metal frame around it, which I think will look good with the black doors. Um, this one is a frameless type, but it still has the LED light around it. And I have to buy another one still, but I wanted to open up, unbox it first, make sure I like it before I get two. So I'll probably do Sherelle's side first and order another one after, um, just in case this doesn't work out according to plan. Let's do this. All right, so I'm about ready to give this an install. Problem is, it's gonna be first time removing a mirror that's not broken. Hopefully, once I move these clips, they only put a few pieces of um, glue behind it so the rest just falls down. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to tape it up and then pull it off to make sure it doesn't crack and all that wonderful stuff. All right, so here it is. So like I said, it does have a black frame around it as well as the LED strip that should light up. There are, a, it, you probably can't see it, but like right here, there's, you might see it slightly. There's a couple buttons so you could change um, the temperature, uh, you can actually turn it on. Um, you can also turn the anti-fog on. Nobody really showers in this bathroom unless we have company. Um, that's usually any time anybody ever showers in this bathroom, so that'll probably not be a big deal. It's actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, and here's the back. You can actually, if now, I'm putting this and hanging this on the wall, so you can actually hardwire it directly into the wall, or you can actually attach the plug and just plug into a regular wall outlet. So, if you wanted to use this instead as like a regular vanity mirror, you can technically speak in, um, for like a makeup vanity. It's kind of big, but you know, sometimes bigger is better. And I believe it can hang both horizontally and vertically from the directions. You know, Sherelle kind of gives me a little bit of free reign to kind of do this type of stuff, but I think that looks really good together. That looks really good. Yeah, she, she, she didn't get any decision on this. I kind of just made this decision. So hopefully she likes it. All right, so I took out the little brackets and they didn't come down. So I have to go to the more manual approach and use this guy to pry it off the wall a little bit. It, I, it does move a little bit, so I shouldn't have to do it too much. So hopefully this is smooth. All right, well that's down. Um, it was actually a little uh, probably took about 20 minutes to take down and it's a slow, slow process. Pretty much I just used these guys to wedge around different parts of the mirror and then I slowly just kind of pulled away. I let it sit away. I figured if I kind of let it hit the air for a little bit it might weaken it up and it did. It did a pretty good job. There's only a couple of groups of their little glue behind there. Um, I'm hoping the mirror I'm gonna have to repaint down here because the mirror is not gonna sit. I think the mirror sits higher up. So I'm gonna have to re repaint down there. But I hope the mirror covers a lot of this because I do have this colored paint 
just not in this finish. This is a set and finish because it's in the bathroom. I still have this color paint, but it's in the eggshell, so that's gonna be interesting. So next is, I have to take that light out, cut a hole down here, run the wire down here, all that fancy stuff. But first, let me go look in the back of the mirror, see what I gotta do. All right, so this comes with this own light bracket system. It actually has a, a level in here. And it can be mounted both horizontally and vertically. I'm gonna do it horizontally. No, vertically. Yeah, I'm doing it vertically. Um, gotta check this out to see what it's all about. I don't see any directions in the box. So I know if I'm hardwiring, I have to take something off here because that's the wire that I put in on the other side. But I'm not. We'll see. All right, so it looks like the ground is ready. Yes, it has a ground wire. Looks like it already has a ground wire. All right, let's see if there's any directions anywhere. All right, well, I forgot to take a video of it when I tested it, but I did do a test fitting. I put the bracket up. The bracket has a little, um, has a little level in it. I wouldn't really trust it too much. I would definitely use your own um, level if you have one. Only problem is, I tried to do it to where, because the builder did that, I was trying to do it to where I could cover that, but it was just too tall, so then I had to go down a little further, that's why you see the holes missing. I also didn't use the drywall anchors that came with the bracket. I used the ones from Home Depot that I bought that were like, each gets rated up to like 75 pounds, and there's one screw that's actually drilled into a stud. Um, so we should be good there because it's actually pretty light. But I definitely got it to the right height I need it now. I loved it out, chest it out. Problem is, I'm going to have to patch that hole. Um, but I have to cut the power off in here so I can remove that light um, and then replace it. So let's keep this going. So where's the current status? See my headlight? All right. Well, here's the current status. Come a hole in the wall. I had to wire up the wall. I'm um, about to... Fix it behind the box a little bit better. Tie them up. Put the bracket on. Life is good. <sighs> All right. Well, that's finally up. Ah, uh, yeah. That took a lot longer than I wanted to. I also had to change out the switch. We had a um. These used to be regular switches that I changed them to the rocker panels. I think that's what they're called. And then also this had a scent, uh, automatic sensor so the kids could come and wash their hands, but it wasn't really working with the light switch. That's fine. Um, but that took a little while because it kept grounding out on me. It was, a, it was a whole ordeal. But if you guys check it out. Ooh, we got light. And that's also connected so you can see that came up. I'm, I'm going to mount it to see if it's tall enough. I might have to lower that bracket a little bit lower. We'll see. Now, this was supposed to be a one, two, three project. I really thought the hardest part was going to be just taking down a mirror, which happened to be so far the easiest part. Um, yeah, fun times. This is what it looks like. It's up, it's there. I got a paint down there. I think it's a good height. I really need the kids to be up to make sure it's not too tall. I mean, they don't really look in the mirror. I think I could probably bring it down a smidge more. But look, a minor mess behind me. This is a fog button, anti-fog button. So if it starts to get a little foggy in here, just you turn that, it'll work, it'll turn it on, it'll take the fog off. This does light turn it on and off. Um, if you turn it off, if you turn the switch off, you turn it back on, it stays off. It remembers the last setting. But if you keep it on, and then you turn the switch off, you turn the switch back on, it keeps it back on. I really like it because it has the black frame, and it really, for this bathroom, matches the door very well. I'll show you guys the one for our bedroom. It doesn't have the black frame around it. Um, but these colors, this light actually change in color temperature. So all you have to do is hold it down, and you should see it start to change. There you go, it's getting a little warmer. To go back the other way, do it again. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I like that. Um, see what Cheryl thinks when she wakes up. I think it looks good. 
go to paint and go from there. All right, so I did lower it just now and I do like it better a lot lower than it is now. So I will take it back down so I can start patching that wall, let it dry overnight, sand it down, paint tomorrow and then reveal. Also got to caulk that back there and clean up, fun times. And we're done. Painted, patched, messed up the patch right there a little bit, but ah, uh, we're gonna make that work. We'll just say the builder did that. And we look good. Only thing left I have to do is I have caulk, um, a waterproof sealant silicone that I gotta put back there. And life is good. Um, but what'd you guys think? I think it came out good. Light. Now, it isn't the brightest in here, but it was never always bright in here, so that's not really too much of a big deal. I wish this was a little bit bigger because I wanted to use all the same light fixtures all through all the other bathrooms, but I don't really like how small that is, so I'm gonna have to find a bigger one um, just to kind of give a little bit more pizzazz. And yeah, and especially the other two bathrooms, we definitely need more light. This one, this is more for guests to use to come use a bathroom, so it doesn't really matter too much how bright this one is, and we're good. So, I'll drop the links to all the items that I used in the description, and there's only two. The mirror was about 200 bucks, I think. That light was actually pretty cheap at only $40, um, so we're good. Mm -hmm. Thank you.